We tell young people today, drop out of school, because schools, education today, is the worst narcotic drug of all. Don't politic, don't vote. These are old men's games, impotent and senile old men that want to put you onto their uh, old chess games of war and power. Drop out, uh, tune in with natural things, take off your shoes, uh, get back in tune with God's harmony, surround yourself with beauty and sacred objects. You can't get caught in the conforming, rote, lockstep, which we call American society. Uh, okay, dude, you ready? I know words, I had the best words. In a society that profits off your self-doubt, loving yourself is a rebellious act. Spirituality is the new punk rock. There ain't nothing more rebellious than connecting with yourself in a culture that's raised you to believe that your purpose as a human being in the universe is nothing more than to just make money and to slave away at some job. Fuck the system, baby. What we are being presented with isn't satisfying us. We are human beings on a planet. You think this is what we're supposed to be doing as we float through space? We want to be back in touch with beauty and love. Terrence McKenna had this idea that our culture is sick. And like any body, when it gets sick, it produces things to counteract the sickness. It wants to cure itself. I think what we are seeing now with the social revolutions and gender liberation and Black Lives Matter. All of this is a self-healing effort. Things like psychedelic use, tattooing, body piercing, rave culture. What these things have in common is that we are trying to cure ourselves through an archaic revival. We have this nostalgia for the Paleolithic. Our tribal roots are being expressed because they are being suppressed by this artificial way of life that has been handed down to us. I've tried being sad at the world, I've tried being angry at the world, none of it worked. It always came back to me. It always led me back right to myself. So if everything I'm doing is just leading me back to myself, maybe there's something within myself I'm supposed to be paying attention to that I'm ignoring. Art, for me, has always been about the revolution. We are infinite creative beings. So to get in touch with that is to get in touch with our truest, purest state. You know, the universe, we are the universe. And the universe is this pure, expressive, creative energy that's just flowing and growing with no judgment. And to get in touch with this creative space within yourself, you have to feel no more hiding stuff, no more suppressing your emotions. Feel what you need to feel, feel it all, and just let it go. Heartache, inspiration, love. When you feel, creativity flows. I think it's time for a revolution, and the revolution starts by healing yourself. The revolution starts by healing yourself. The personal revolution is where it begins. How can you heal the world if you're not healing yourself? We all want change, but none of us are taking the steps to change ourselves. We all want to help our brothers and sisters. So if you are in the awareness of cultivating this space within yourself of love and of healing, and I do that, and we all do that, then the revolution happens in an instant. There's no protesting that needs to be done, no wars, no pepper spray and guns. It's just a shift in awareness. 
I don't know if you guys can see this crazy ass spider, but oh shit, there's one right there in front of me. Oh fuck, I didn't see that there. Jesus Christ. Goodbye. So what I'm saying is that you are worth more. All these unrealistic Photoshop beauty standards, you are worth more. A, black, transgender, Muslim, white, Mexican, you are worth more than these labels. We are human beings on a planet in space. You are worth more. Your life is the most mysterious shit to ever happen. So wake up. Saying strong, melody is keeping me alive. I say it's strong. I said this melody is keeping me alive. I say it's strong, melody is keeping me alive. I say it's strong, melody is keeping me alive. I say it's strong. Melody is keeping me alive. I say it's strong. We're like the bark on the trees, swaying in the breeze when the storm comes. Sometimes we fall to our knees. Mothers informing me, absorbing the infinite love from below and above. We're like the bark on the trees, swaying in the breeze when the storm comes. Sometimes we fall to our knees. Mothers informing me, absorbing the.